You know, God's word says the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. You know, to me, that means uh, there's a whole lot of work to be done, but not many people willing to do it. And I hope if you're watching this, uh, that might have just hit you like a ton of bricks. Like maybe uh, God might be calling you to do something. Uh, there's also a scripture here. Uh, it's in uh, Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Salt and light. I'm going to read this to you, and I, I pray that this just sinks into somebody's soul right now. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way... Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You know, one thing I've learned uh, going down this ministry path is, is a lot of people start out. However, uh, life picks them off. Uh, I pray to God that I don't get picked off. However, at this point in time, I've been through so much. However, I just kept enduring and I just kept, I just keep going and going. And uh, no doubt God gets the glory. Uh, he knows me, he knows my heart, and he knows what I've been through. And so for me to still be going, that's a testimony. However, when God when God calls you, he's not going to send anything your way that you can't handle. And he'll actually still give you the choice along the way. Will you still keep doing it for me? Are you going to lose your saltiness? Are you going to let your light burn out? I pray to God I don't, but at this point in time, I haven't. No doubt through God's strength when I was weak. I hope this is reaching somebody right now. God wants to use you. He wants to use you for greatness. He wants to use you at greater rates daily. Even through your struggles, he wants to use that to propel you and others to success. Let's pray. Father God, I come to you and I just thank you for this day. Father God, I pray this message reaches who you intended to reach and that it would penetrate the hearts of men. I give you the glory and the praise for watching out over us, Father, and guiding us, for helping us, Father, for the understanding to, to realize what each day means and to give you the glory and the praise no matter what the day brings. Father God, I just lift us up. I pray your strength, your love, your peace, your patience, your wisdom, all your spiritual gifts and blessings would multiply over us at greater rates daily in the knowledge to use and apply it for ourselves and others to help others along the way, Father. I know you have a plan, and it's through our faith. And I give you the glory and the praise for choosing us first. Use us, Father. In Jesus' name, we're healed. Amen. Y'all, I pray to just truly uh, reach somebody. Let God use you, and he might just use you for greatness. God bless y'all.